Jesus. Sister Magdalene and the Orthodox Sisters of Agape from the Orthodox Monastery of St. Macarius the Great of Egypt are here after the Masses this weekend with their religious articles, icons, homemade baklava, and other Mediterranean desserts. Proceeds go to support the building of their monastery. The Brotherhood of St. Dismas will have a table after all the Masses for those interested in their upcoming Rosary Ball, that's in September, and registration for the Big Bear Retreat for Men in October. Enrollment for our English Religious Education and Teen Confirmation classes will close on September 5th. Enrollment is a two-step process. Please visit our parish website for information and for the various links before September 5th. Tomorrow, Monday, September 4th, is Labor Day. We will be on our holiday schedule. There will be adoration from 7.45 to 8.45 a.m., followed by Holy Mass at 9 a.m., the one and only Mass of the day. There will be no afternoon adoration in the church, no evening triumph prayer service, and no confessions. The parish office will be closed. Also, starting Tuesday, September 5th, afternoon adoration in the church, that's here in the church, will begin at 4 p.m., not 3 p.m., and conclude at 4.50 p.m. with benediction. Vespers will follow at 5 p.m., and then the 5.30 p.m. Mass. The Adoration Chapel, as always, is open 24-7. And for this, for those in case we have visitors, it's a holiday weekend, this Holy Mass uh, communion is received on the tongue only, and by those physically able, kneeling. The intention for today's Mass is for Seamus and Alana Waters. And now the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Asper Jesme
Ostend in Obis Domine Misericordium Tuum. Domine exaudiratione meum. Et clamor Deus atre veniat. Dominus vobiscum. Et cum spiritus tuum. Oremus, exaudinus Domine Sancte Pater Omnipotens Eterne Deus, et mitere digneri Sanctum Angelum Tuum de Celis, qui custodiat foviat protegat, Visited at good defender omnes habitantes in hoc habitaculo, per Christum Dominum nostrum.
that shows his tail. Dominus vobiscum, et cum spiritus tuo, oremus, custode Domine quesimus ecclesiam tua, propitiatione perpetua, et quia sinite labitur humana mortalitas, tu es semper auxilis et abstrahatur ad noxis, et ad salutaria dirigatur, per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuo, Qui te convivir et regnat unanimitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lexio Epistolae Veati Pauli Apostoli ad Galatas. Fratres Spiritu Ambulate, et desideria carnis non perficietis. Caro enim concupiscit ad versus spiritum, spiritus autem ad versus carnem, hec enim sibi in vicem adversandur, et non quocumque vultis illa facias. Quod si spiritu dicimini, non est sub lege. Manifesti sunt autem opere carnis, que sunt fornicatio, umidatie, impudicitia, luxuria, idolorum servitus, venificia, inimicitia, contationis, amulationis, ire, rixe, Dissensiones, secte individie, omiticidie, ebrietates, 
commissiationes et his similia, que predico vobis sigut predixi, quoniam quitali ujunt, regnum dei non consequentur. Fructus autem spiritus est, caritas gaudium pax, paciensi habenignitas, bonitas langinatimitas, mansuitudo, fides, modestia, continentia castas, adversus huius modi non est lux, qui autem sunt Christe, carnem suam cru crufices erunt, cum vitis et concupiscentis, Dominus vobiscum, <coughs> sequentia sancti evangelii secundum Matthäum. In illo tempore dixit Iesus discipuli suis, nemo potes tuo vos domini servire, aut enim unum odio habebit et alterum diligent, aut unum sustinebit et alterum contemnent. Non potes is Deo servire et mamone. Idio dico vobis, ne solicitis citis anime vestre quid manducetis, Neque corpore vestro quid intu amini. Non e anima plus es quam esca, et corpore plus quam vestimentum. Respicite volatili a celi, quoniam non serunt neque metunt, neque congregat in horia, et pater vestro celesis pascit illa. Non e vos magis pluris esis ilis, quis autem vestrum, cogitans potes adicere ad staturam suam, cubitum unum, et te vestimento quid soliciti estis. Considerati lili agri quo modo crescun, non laboras neque nent, Dico autem vobis, quoniam nec salum omen omni gloria sua, co opertus es sicud unum ex istis. 
si autum ferum agri, quod hodie es gras in clibanum, mititur Deus sic vesti, quando magis fos modice fidei. Nolite ergo solicite esse dicentes, quid mantu cabimus, ad qui bibemus ad quo operiemur. Hec enim omnia gentes in quirunt. Sid enim pater vester, quis omnibus indigetis. Querite ergo primum renium de et justitiam eius, Et heuc omnia ad iciantur vobis. In today's Holy Gospel, our Lord asks us, Are you not of more value than the birds of the air? And the implied answer is yes, we are. But why is this exactly? Why are we of more value than the sparrow or the raven or the eagle? The fact is that some today would say that you are not. We are experiencing a climate change, not that of global warming, but that of the growing number of persons who say that human beings have no more value than any other animal. It is more important to protect unhatched eagle eggs than it is to protect unborn children. We, of course, have the responsibility to be good caretakers and stewards of God's creation. But the subtle and sometimes not so subtle message some people tell you is you are actually not more valuable than the birds, especially since there are so many of you humans. Where are we to find our value and our worth? With all our concern about teaching self-esteem, children realize as they grow up that being told all the time that they are wonderful, awesome, and special does not really mean much unless it is based on something real. What is it that makes us worth something? We often try to find the answer by looking to our own qualities, our intelligence, our good looks, or our creativity and talents. Or we define our worth by our value to others. I'm so needed at my job, or my friends and neighbors and my family depend on me. This is all fine and good, but what happens when you begin to lose your mental acuity, or your money, or your looks? What happens when you are no longer needed at your job? and your family and friends do not depend on you as much as they once did? Do you lose or diminish your worth then? Certainly not. The one who defines your, your true worth is not you or others, but God. Your value comes from the Holy Trinity and is grounded in him. 
The fact that he loves you makes you lovely. The fact that he treasures you makes you a treasure. Our Lord says to each one of us here, from the unborn to the aged, you are of more value and worth than you can fully know. Here are three reasons why you have worth before God. First, he created you in his own image. This distinguishes you from the animals. No animal was created in God's image, but you were. You are not merely a highly developed animal. You are a reflection of God himself. It is true that his image has been broken in us because of our sins. Like a shattered mirror, the image we reflect is sometimes disjointed and distorted and all out of place, similar to the image reflected by a funhouse mirror. But this brings us to the second reason why God considers us worthy of him. Our Lord has restored the image of his Father in us, and the manner in which he did this also distinguishes us from every other creature. The Son of God did not become any of the animals or even an angel. Our Lord took our humanity and became as we are, a human being. In this way, he restored the divine image in us. If this does not give us a sense of value and worth, nothing will. And the third and final reason why we are worthy in God's eyes is that we have been baptized into his grace. He recreated us by the grace of our baptism. So the question our Lord asks in today's gospel is truly pointed. Why do you worry? The only way that you would worry miserably and hopelessly is if you forget who you are as a Christian. To live in great anxiety is to live like the unbelievers who believe that everything depends on their planning and efforts, and manipulation, and control of the elements of this world. They focus on this world, so full of change and decay, rather than focusing on our Lord and trusting in him, who exhorted us to seek first the kingdom of his Father and his righteousness, that is, to live virtuously, for these will give us peace within and remove anxiety. This is your true identity. This is where your value and worth come from, from the creative and redemptive works of the Blessed Trinity in you. Realistically, we cannot dispel fear and anxiety completely from our lives because of the existence of the evil one, who is ever trying to destroy both our natural and supernatural lives. But in our anxiety, let us cast all our care on our Heavenly Father, because he cares for us, who, looking after all the sparrows in the sky, said to us, do not be anxious, for you are of more value than these sparrows. Credo in unum Deum.
Dominus Vobiscum. Oremos. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Et un spiritu tuo. 
Sur sum korda. Gratia sagamus, Domino deo nostro. Vere dignum et iusum esecum et salutare, nos sibi semper rubique gratia sagere, Domine Sancte Pater Omnipotens, Eterne Deus, qui comune genito filio tuo, et spiritu sancto unus est Deus, Unus est Dominus, non in unio singularitate persone, sed in unius Trinitate substantiae. Quod enim de tua gloria revelante te credimus, hoc te filio tuo, Hoc de Spiritu Sancto, sine differentia, discretioni sentimus. Ut in confessione, vere semper teneque deitatis, et in personis proprietas, et in essentia unitas, Et in maestate adoretur equalitas. Quam laudan angeli adque archangeli, Cherubin quoque ac serafim, Qui non cessan clamare cotidie, Una voce dicentes.
Nobis quoque peccatoribus. Per omnia secula seculorum. Oremus, precepti salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati, audemus dicere, Pater noster qui es in celis, Sanctificetur nomen Tuum, adveniat renium Tuum, fiat voluntas Tua, sicud in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum, da nobis odie, et dimite nobis, Debita nostra, sicud et nos dimitimus, debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum.
Mystery at the Vestry and the Potence, the Vestry, Mrs. Begatis, Vestry, Spaduka, Vosa, Vitam Eterna, in the Gens of Silut, Sinam, the Dream, Sinam, Gator of the Sorrow, three but Vobus, Omnipotence, and Misericus, so many. Ecjanus de, Ecjipitolit, Pecata Mundi, Domine non sum dignus, the interest of Tectum Meu, Satantum de Verbo et Senabitur, Anima Mea. Domine non sum dignus et interes subtectum meum, setantum dig verbo et senabitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus et interes subtectum meum, setantum dig verbo et senabitur anima mea.
Dominus Vobiscum. Oremus. Purificent semper et nuncian tua sacramenta nosteius, et a perpetue ducan salvationis effectum. Per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui te convivit et regnat unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Dominus Vobiscum, Ite misa est. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.